you for being here. Today is going to be a short class getting into our hips. So please don't forget to subscribe, go check out my TikTok, and let's get into it. Let's start off class with a few community breaths to get ourselves centered. So standing in Tadasana Mountain Pose, either at the top of your mat or facing me. Close your eyes if that feels good. Hands at the sides. And inhale in through your nose. And out through your nose. I want you to take a few breaths here for yourself and notice that the air is cool as it enters your nose and warm as it exits. I want you to feel very sturdy, very little sway in your stance, like you are connected to the earth. Leaving all negative thoughts, all your responsibilities off the mat because now you are making time for yourself and that is what is most important. Take a big inhale here, bringing your arms up in through the nose and then exhale, bring your arms down and through the mouth. One more time, inhale, arms up, and exhale through the mouth, bringing your arms down, and open your eyes. Beautiful. Now we're going to start in chair pose, which if you hadn't seen the class before this one, we did a whole class using chairs as a prop, and also getting into chair pose. So definitely recommend you go check that class out after this one. So bringing your feet together so that your big toes touch but you have a little bit of a sliver between your feet or you can bring your feet about hips distance apart. You're going to inhale here and then as you exhale bringing your hands to heart you're going to bend into your knees making sure that your tailbone is bringing your body down as if you're sitting into a seat not out and back. So exhaling down your knees bent so that they are not going over your big toes. You can still see your big toes. And really make sure that your pelvis is tilted in. Again, as if you are sitting actually on a chair. Go where you feel comfortable. Close your eyes if that feels good. And breathe here. Inhaling and exhaling. Finding your power. Maybe you leave your arms up above your head for some extra length in the spine. And on your next inhale, go ahead and straighten the legs and then exhale, fold over your legs. Breathe here. You can separate the feet a bit. Sway back and forth. Find some movement. Bend into the knees to release some pressure off your lower back. Choose your own adventure here. When you're ready, find stillness. And we're going to inhale, halfway lift. Bring your shoulder blades together for that flat spine and exhale fold and then inhale back to standing arms up and exhale hands to hearts beautiful all right now we're going to get into goddess pose so bringing your feet out wide beyond the hips and your feet at 45 degree angles you're going to inhale here and exhale, bending into the knees and sinking down. Again, keeping your tailbone straight down, pointed to the, towards the floor. Your knees will not come beyond the toes. In your squat, your hands can stay up ahead or in W at your heart in prayer. 
Now with your knees, I want you to actively try and bring them towards the back of the room and make sure you keep that straight spine. So we are making sure that we're not doming over and falling forward. Now, also if you'd like, <clears throat> you, can, you can raise yourself up a bit so that you don't have as much bend in the knees. Go where you feel comfortable. Also, in our last class, we did do a bit of a goddess squat with a chair, which I will show you now. So, bringing your chair in, you can go ahead and take a seat and spread your legs out wide so that you're still getting that hip opener. Keeping your feet at those 45 degree angles, you'll feel that stretch. And then go ahead, do the same by bringing your arms up ahead, W, tear your chest. Just make sure you are making, um, making sure that you're still bringing your knees to the back of the room. And breathe. Now continue to breathe here. I will meet you back in goddess pose. Now, from wherever you are, whether you are uh, whether you are seated or in your goddess pose, we're going to inhale and rise up, bring your arms up to the sky, pointing your fingers up as high as you can for star pose. And then exhale back into goddess. Inhale, up for star. Exhale, back down to goddess. One more, y'all. Inhaling for star and exhaling for goddess. And then inhale, come back up. Exhale, release. Shake it on out. Get yourselves a drink of water. Okay hey guys, we are now going to get into Eagle Pose. So we will start with our left foot as our balancing leg. Bringing your left foot into the middle. Your right foot is going to come and wrap around your leg. <clears throat> now the goal for Eagle is to have your right foot wrapped around the ankle of your left foot. I can kind of do it, but I've got big thighs. They don't really allow me to do that. So option to just come and cross your legs, come to the floor with your foot, or if you'd like, you could also come to a block that might allow you to wrap around your ankle a little bit more. Once you are where you feel comfortable, we're going to do the same with our arms. So your left arm will be... <laughs> your left arm will be bent out in front of you, and you're going to bring your right elbow to kind of hook into your left. And then bringing your palms together. It's okay if they don't touch. Clearly, mine don't. But keep that straight spine. And then inhaling, bring up your um, elbows so that they are in line with your shoulders. And breathe here. Now, there's also an option if this is too much for you. Just go ahead, bring your arms up into prayer but still keep your elbows at shoulder length. Choose your own adventure and breathe. Inhale here and exhale. Release your twists. And you'll definitely have to shake this one out, especially in the legs. And we will go to the other side. If you're like me and you don't like the little indents in your block when you're done, just go ahead and flip it over. <laughs> okay, so right foot center, finding my stability. And then let's see my attempt of wrapping. I can do a little bit more than I can on my uh, left, but I'm still going to opt for the block. 
There we go. Once you find your stance, hips are forward. I'm going to bend my right arm in front of me, left elbow hooking into it, bringing my palms together, and arms up so that elbows are in line with the shoulders. And breathe. Inhale here, and exhale, release your twists. Shake it out. And move your block out the way. All right, now, standing with your feet a bit wider than hips distance, your left foot pointed towards the long edge of your mat and your right foot pointed towards the short edge of your mat. What we're going to do here is essentially start off in triangle. So you can use a block here because we're going to inhale and then exhale down over our leg. So you can come into triangle by coming to your block, your ankle or the mat, whichever you prefer. And then once you're here, you're going to bend into that right leg so that your knee is over your ankle and you're going to start putting your weight into that leg and begin to lift your back leg and straighten your front leg. Now, your block, <laughs> don't be afraid to fall, your block can be placed here as well. Or you can also do this up against a wall, which is probably the best prop for this pose. It's okay to fall. It's okay to restart. Don't be afraid to use props, y'all. Props are your friends. When you're ready, go ahead, inhale and exhale. Come back down and we'll go to the other side. So bringing your block. Wide-legged stance, right foot towards the long edge of your mat, left foot towards the short edge. I'm going to inhale my arms up and exhale down, starting in triangle. Then I'm going to bend into my left knee, find my strength. So, left so wide-legged stance left foot pointed towards the short edge right foot pointed towards the long edge heel in line with the arch of your foot inhaling your arms up and exhaling down for triangle and then now putting my hands on the block bending into my left knee finding my power I'm beginning to raise into my half moon. Do not forget your breath here. You can also opt to bend into your knee if that feels good. And when you're ready, inhale and exhale come down for release okay now we are going to relax we will get into our final pose of class bring a strap or a rolled up towel if you may need it you shall see because we are going to get into happy baby and let me actually bring you all down with me okay guys so coming into happy baby we are going to come lay down onto our mat, get situated, probably take the clip out of your hair so you can lay your head back comfortably. Now, once you are here, I want you to first 
take a couple breaths because we did a lot. So honor your body here. Catch up with yourself. Don't forget to take a water break. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Just take inventory of how your body feels. Do your feet feel tingly? Do your legs feel tired? Do your arms feel strong? And when you're ready, we're going to inhale our legs up. You can either come first to your feet bottoms and then coming up or you can just come straight up from your legs. And a few options here. You can grab the backs of your legs for your happy baby. You can grab your feet or you can grab your big toes. Or here's where the strap or towel or blanket comes into play. You can also use a strap. So I'll use a strap just to show you guys. Wherever you are, you're gonna keep your knees bent and bring your uh, feet up above you as much as you can. If they're only out here, then that's all right. The more up you bring them towards um, in front of your face, the more stretch you'll feel. So wherever you are, take some breaths. If you want to feel some extra goodness in your hips, you can Bring your knees down to the floor a bit. You can also maybe rock on your back while you hold your feet. Give your back a little massage. Choose your own adventure and breathe. If you're holding on to the backs of your thighs, you can also try straightening the legs as well for a little inversion action. Don't be afraid to find movement. And when you're ready, inhale and exhale, release your legs and come back down to your Shavasana, your corpse pose, palms facing down or up. I'm going to face mine down to ground myself into the earth. And let's take a couple breaths here. Inhale, in through the nose. Make that belly big and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale in through the nose. Make your belly as big as you can. Inhale a little bit more and exhale. What a wonderful class today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This will be where I leave you today. I encourage you to stay here for just a few more breaths. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste.